My work in the last couple of years has been really thinking about how can we create worlds for kids that will get them to think not just about learning content, but really engaging in worlds where that content has value. So instead of setting up a space where they can learn about erosion or eutrophication as a concept or as an abstract definition, it's really been about what would it mean to build a world in which they have to go in, analyze water quality in a world, and start to use concepts that they're learning in schools as resources to make sense of the narrative in those worlds. So part of my goal is to really use games and the idea of immersing kids in worlds to um, kind of reinvigorate the content that's a part of schools and give it more value and meaning. Part of making a game that we thought would be interesting for kids involved that you could have some agency in choosing what kind of identities you want to evolve and not every kid would want to be an environmental scientist or a chemist. You know, whereas before maybe the core activities involved going into this virtual park and trying to understand what, the, what was the science going on so a science teacher could say, yeah, that's consistent with my goals for the semester. Now we have narratives that have to do with um, social responsibility, have to do with homeless shelters, have to do with ethical dilemmas. But a key part of our work is that we're not trying to do something that just kind of will allow kind of my vita, my publications to go or to develop these theories that have no real world impact. Part of what we want to do is really show how they're being taken up. And if we really want teachers to allow these to be used in their classroom, and more importantly, get excited about using them, then we do have to kind of bridge both worlds.